بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم 5090 پیپر 21 جون 25 اینڈ دس از دی سیکنڈ ویڈیو وچ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین ٹو یو ہاؤ کوسچن 5 ٹو کوسچن 8 ور سالوڈ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کوسچن نمبر 5 ایئر پولوشن بائی کاربن ڈائی آکسائیڈ از کنٹریبیوٹنگ ٹو گلوبل وارمنگ ایکسپلین ہاؤ دی انکریزنگ کنسنٹریشن اف کاربن ڈائی آکسائیڈ ان دی ایٹموسفیئر از کوزنگ گلوبل وارمنگ یو سی بیسیکلی یو گاٹ ٹو سے واٹ از اٹ کاربن ڈائی آکسائیڈ از اے گرین ہاؤس گیس So it is causing the greenhouse effect. You can say that as well. Energy from the sun can penetrate atmosphere. Heat energy or the radiation is absorbed. But this is going to prevent the radiation escaping from the atmosphere into the space. So basically carbon dioxide means more greenhouse gases. More greenhouse gases means that the heat cannot escape. So it is reflected back. And that makes the earth a warmer place. So that's going to result in global warming. So how do we word this? Uh, carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Energy from sun can penetrate atmosphere. Heat energy is trapped by the carbon dioxide. So prevents heat energy escaping from the atmosphere. Now it's a bit of a, maybe you understand it, but you don't know how to word it. And that is, of course, is another situation which you must address. Then coming to part B of the question, scientists are planning to reduce the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. They plan to grow large areas of seaweed. that float in the ocean the seaweed will take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and grow larger complete the balanced symbol equation for photosynthesis balanced symbol equation for photosynthesis so co2 plus 6h2o gives you c6h12o6 and 6O2. So there is a 6 with each of the CO2, H2O and O2, but there's no 6 with the glucose, C6H12O6. In the, in the mark scheme, there's a mistake in this. Please remember. If you're going to look at the mark scheme and memorize it from that, there's a mistake in the mark scheme. Number two, the scientists estimate that the seaweed will double in biomass every 10 days. If they start with 2 tons of seaweed, calculate the biomass expected after 40 days of growth. Space for working. So what did it say? Biomass every 10 days. So there's 2 tons. So it will be 4 times. 2, 4, 8. How, how much will it be? So it was 2 uh, tons of seaweed. Calculate the biomass after 40 days. So you can see how it will be. 32 tons. The unit was written here, so you didn't have to write that. So uh, it's 2 in the beginning, so every 10 it will be 4, and then 8, and then 16, and then 32. Part C of the question, the scientists need to, need to supply the seaweed with the minerals needed for growth. Nitrates are one of the minerals that we supply to the seaweed. Explain the importance of nitrates. Well, nitrates are used to make amino acids, and amino acids are used to make proteins. So very basic, simple. Nitrates are needed to make amino acids. See, we're talking about growth, but of course here I would also say nitrates will be needed for DNA, for the nucleotide, because there's a nitrogenous organic base. So I expect that question coming up. Uh, nitrates are used for proteins, but what are they also used for? So something else as well, and that would be DNA and ATP. So used for making amino acids, nitrates are needed to make amino acids because you see glucose has carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, but we need nitrogen. So the nitrates from the soil are needed to make those amino acids, the nitrogen part to the amino acid. Then as the seaweed grows, the scientists plan to send bundles of it to the bottom of the ocean. The seaweed in the bundle dies on the ocean floor. Figure 5.1 shows the process. Seaweeds absorb CO2 from the atmosphere. bundles of seaweed containing carbon sick to the ocean floor there is very little oxygen in the water at the bottom of the ocean explain how this will help the carbon to stay trapped in the dead seaweed there is no decomposition oxygen is needed for decomposers so no aerobic respiration will occur there is very little oxygen in the water so explain how this will help the carbon to stay trapped in the dead seaweed no decomposition and because at such a depth there is uh, no oxygen 
So that's what they told you in the question. Oxygen is needed for respiration by decomposers. So no decomposition will take place uh, as the decomposers need oxygen for respiration. So then these decomposers are not going to be able to survive there. Question number six, sycamore trees, whatever Acer, pseudo, platinus grow throughout most of Europe. Sycamore trees produce flowers in the spring. The flowers have these characteristics, small and green colored, produce large quantities of small light pollen grains, contain nectar. Explained by scientists think that the flowers can be pollinated by wind and by insects. Oh, why? Because small and green colored is a characteristic of wind pollination. And they do not need to attract insects. And the large amounts of pollen would increase the chance of wind pollination. But the fact that they contain nectar, this would attract insects. So there are uh, properties which are found in wind pollinated and insect pollinated flowers. So you had to give me one point for wind pollination and one point for insect uh, pollination. So if you said small and green, so this is more a characteristic of wind pollinated flower, or if you said large light pollen, so it's easily carried by wind, this would only be one mark scheme point. You had to give me the other point, which is nectar would attract insects, because remember there are two marks for it. So it says, how can we pollinated by wind and by insects? Then it says, uh, the flowers of the sycamore tree are cross-pollinated, state an advantage of cross-pollination rather than self-pollination. It is going to result in more variation. And if there's variation, then there is the capacity to respond to changes in the environment. So increased variation, that is the main point that you need to understand. So increased variation can respond to changes in the environment. Now, please understand this. You see, if uh, there is a variation of uh, root length, there are some short roots and there are some medium roots and some long roots. Then when there's drought, the short roots will probably die, but the long roots will survive. So the variation is very important. If it's going to be self-pollination, that's going to be the same, genetically the same uh, flowers. Part B of the question says, the sentence describes the processes that occur in a sycamore flower after pollination. Complete the sentence by writing words in the gaps. The pollen grows a pollen tube, which allows the male gamete to reach the female gamete. After fertilization, the ovule becomes a seed and the ovary will develop into a fruit. So pollen tube, the pollen grain grows a pollen tube which allows the male gamete to reach the female gamete. After fertilization, the ovule becomes a seed and the ovary will develop into a fruit. Figure 6.1 shows two sycamore fruits, two sycamore fruits. The wings on the fruit cause them to spin as they fall to the ground. This slows their fall so they can be blown away by the wind. Explain why this is an advantage to the parent tree and any young trees that are produced from these fruits. Basically, what is going to happen, you see, this is the main tree. And if they all fall down here, then there's going to be overcrowding. And there's going to be competition for light and the nutrients in the soil. Now when they fall away, so they fall somewhere far away, the young trees will grow away from the parent plant. This will prevent competition for sources like light, water and minerals. So if they all fall down here, just under the tree, then they don't have a chance of survival because they're all competing. So this is what you have to understand. So how do we write this? Young trees will go away from the parent plant, prevents competition for light, water, and minerals. I don't say you have to write all three of them. Any one of them would have been fine. So it will prevent competition. Because if they're all under the shade of the big tree, then uh, they're not going to get much light. The inheritance of uh, ABO blood groups in humans is an example of co-dominance. The blood groups are controlled by three different alleles, IA, IB, and IO. State the blood group of a person who has the genotype IAIO. So the person has blood group A. You can also write blood group A or you can just write A and that would have been fine. So blood group A. 
Then it says take the genotype of a person. So genotype means the genetic typing. So that will be I O I O. That's what they've given you here. Now it says figure seven point one is a family family tree showing the ABO blood groups of eight different people numbered one to eight. Now the parents five and six in figure seven point one are expecting another child. Complete this Punnett square to show the possible genotypes of the child. The possible genotypes of the child, the five and six. So five is A, and because they have this, this has an O child. So this A group person has to be I A I O. Because you see, if you had the parent I A, I A. And the other parent is I O I O. Now you cannot have an O group child, so this has to be an O. This is how I tell you to do it from the answer. So in order to have an O group child, the the parent A has to be A O, and the parent O of course is O O, so there is no other possibility. So now you have to say okay, so I A I O. This is I O I O, and then this will be I A I O, and this will be I A I O, and this will be I O I O, and this will be also I O I O. Right, so you do this. You must know this. What is the probability this child is male with blood group A? Now this is a little difficult. This come in one of your MCQs as well. Why is it twenty five percent? Having a blood group A is fifty percent. You see, blood group A is fifty percent. This one and this one. So out of four kids, two are O group and two are A group. So there's a 50% chance of having a child with A group. But then having a male child is 50%. So I always say it's a little 50% of 50%, and that is 25%. You see, having an A group, having a child with A group is out of two out of Two out of four, that's well, fifty percent. But having a male or a female is also fifty percent. So fifty percent of fifty percent is twenty-five percent. So this is how you would have to word it. Then it says, how many people in the family tree in Figure seven point one are homozygous for the ABO blood groups alleles? How many people in the family? So let's look at the family. The person O group is homozygous. So only two people are homozygous. You see, A could be A O or A A, B could be B O or B B. So it's only the ones homozygous for the A groups are is the only people who are O group. You see, because here the A's are I A I O, A B, the B group has to be How did this B come here? So this person has to be A O. That's why it is B O. So please understand this question. You can write all the genotypes on the Punnett's on the pedigree chart, and then you can figure it out. Last question. Question eight. Pectinase is an enzyme that is produced by fungi. In the large scale industrial production of pectinase fungi are grown in fermenters. Figure eight point one shows a fermenter. Explain how the features of the fermenter shown in figure eight point one provide suitable conditions for the growth of fungi. There is a motor paddle to mix the solution. There is a motor or a paddle to mix the solution and uh, 
provide the food supply or air is evenly distributed you could have said that then there's a water jacket where is the water jacket this is the water jacket this is to helps to cool the fermenter contents prevents high temperature killing the fungus or denaturing the enzymes then the air in and air out air in and air out how is that helpful provides oxygen and allows the fungus to respire aerobically aerobically is underlined so that's a point that you have to write then the air filter where is the air filter here air contains a lot of other microorganisms so this prevents entry of other microorganisms and prevents contamination of the solution so it reduces competition for the fungi so this is for part a of the question so i have written the headings on one side and i have given the uh, function of each so paddle will mix the solution and it will also distribute the air evenly the water jacket will cool the fermenter content so this will prevent high temperature denaturing the enzymes which are the fungal enzymes and the air in will provide the oxygen because the fungus can respire aerobically and the air filter will prevent the entry of microorganisms which are present in the air the air the air is the normal air which is in your room or my room anywhere that we are that contains lots and lots of bacteria viruses fungal spores so we don't want those to start growing inside the fermenter so this will prevent contamination of the solution part b of the same question in an experiment scientists added pectinase made by the fungi to a sample of crushed fruit they measured changes in the sugar content of the sample of crushed fruit the thickness of the sample of crushed fruit the scientist results are shown in figure 8.2 so there's a thickness which is showing you that so thickness is either decreasing or increasing and the sugar content is increasing here the thickness is decreasing and the sugar content is increasing so pectin is added and then it has been recorded for 50 minutes use your knowledge of the action of pectinase to explain the scientist results to explain the scientist results four marks so what has happened when you've added pectinase the sugar content has increased so pectinase digests pectin this releases the sugar from the cells and this makes the concentration of sugar increase pectin makes a solution thicker so when digested the thickness decreases sugars will dissolve and so decrease the thickness well, that was a little difficult for you to comprehend but basically you had to tell me if you knew how pectin worked pectin is uh, digesting the pectinase is going to digest the pectin and so this will release the sugars from the cells this will make the concentration of sugar increase so you got your three marks and the pectin is making the solution thicker so if it is digested the thickness decreases the thickness was because of the pectin but when the pectinase has been added the thickness of it the thickness of it the consistency of it is decreasing because the pectin is no longer there to give it the consistency so please try and understand that that pectin was giving it the thickness or like you know honey is thick water is not thick it's not it doesn't have a thicker consistency you have a milkshake you have bananas and milk it makes it thick so the thickness has to be understood what we are trying to tell you and what we are trying to ask you in the exam pectin is digest pectin so if the pectin is digested then this will release the sugar from the cells the sugar content that's why increases pectin makes the solution thicker so if it is digested because when we've added pectinase then the thickness has decreased so you have removed the pectin so that means that thickness will decrease that completes this paper and uh, thank you very much